Hi, it's Rick Stewart here for the Blues Center interview with Mason Ruffner. Welcome hey. to Pinecone. Thank you. One guy I wanted to ask you about was Buddy Holly. Was he uh, much of an influence on you? He was like uh, a one-man army. He could write the songs, he could front the band, he could put the band together, he could do everything. Love him. My tip-off was the frames. He was like, you're, you're not quite the same glasses. But it's... <laughs> Bob Dylan was my biggest influence by far of anybody. I think he's the best vocalist to ever make records. Tell me about the environment here in New Orleans. That's where you recorded with Dylan and Daniel Lanois, a Series of Dreams. Yeah, that, that was my band playing on that, drums and bass. We were in a house up on Sonia Street, uptown, right around here somewhere. And amps would be back and put in different closets, and a drummer was sitting right there, Willie Green. But when you listen to it, it it sounds pretty good. People really like that song. What were your thoughts when you found out he was including you in his autobiography? When I read it, I was over the moon. I got it in writing, man. It's Bob Dylan saying things about you. You can't beat that. That's the kind of stuff I was striving for. The Arbords had Clapton, Beck, and Page. Did you feel closer to any of them stylistically? Probably closest to, to Jimmy Page because I'm a little sloppy. I'll slide a little here, come in a little late here or something. I think Jimmy's just a little bit that way too. I met him at the old Absent Bar. That very day he met his future wife. Jimmy would come back to visit a lot and he always come bring his guitar down and play. Right after that I got my first record deal and my first record come out and then he was with La Firm, with Paul Rogers and asked if I wanted to open. That got the ball rolling for me right there. My record company, Epic Records, uh, thought that would be a good idea to get me up there on top of that building and run around. It looked like it was sunset, but it was actually sunrise, so they had us up like three or four o'clock in the morning. I don't remember much of it, really. First made eye contact with him, you might say, at the 544 Club. In Bourbon Street in New Orleans. And I heard this great sound, this great musician. His name is Basil Ruffner. And then I ran into him some years later. Been playing with him ever since. I played with him all over the world. I played with him in Europe, in Asia, in America. <laughs> Mason Ruffner, thanks for coming by. Cheers.